my name is David Cuevas. I'm the kid reporter of OEF 2015, and I'm with Sanjay Patel from Pixar, who created his new short film called Sanjay Super Team. So we're going to ask you a couple of questions, Sanjay. Are you ready? Yeah, man. Let's do it, David. Okay. So the first question is, in the presentation that you just did, it, the, the short film meant a lot to your family. It, m most people say it, said it's the most, like, heartwarming family-like short film from Pixar to date. So can you explain a little bit of the family uh, uh, stuff about the film? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a very personal story. Um, you know, I, it's the first thing I want to underline. And um, I think, you know, it's about me and my dad. And uh, I think what makes it so emotional is that it's so true. So it took me a long time to kind of come to this sort of growth, but I think growing up, I just, I just, uh, I really had a hard time understanding my dad and relating to him, and not at all feeling close to him. And so, I think it took a lot of years of growing up, 30 years, to finally feel, like, finally discover a way to connect to him. And it was through Asian art. And when I found Asian art, you know, I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the stories, the philosophy, and the thing that I didn't realize was that it was all leading to my dad. And so it just helped kind of unlock my dad and his universe. And it just, yeah, it was, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just glad that that bridge was there and we finally were able to connect and see eye to eye. And my second question is in the performance about the animation. It's spectacular. It's like Pixar has never seen this before. Colors, brightness, it's incredible. So can you explain a little bit of the lighting and the animation and physics that went into the short? Oh yeah, so that was really that was a really fun challenge, just because, you know. So we're doing we're animating these deities in with this three D technology, and um, you know, there's so much to consider in terms of physics, as you're saying with animation. You know, I knew straight away that if we were gonna bring to life, you know, an incarnation of Vishnu, um, he just couldn't move around like Buzz or Woody. He, you know, these are deities after all; they're not bound to the rules of physics. And so we looked at a lot of different ways to figure out locomotion ideas that would feel kind of otherworldly, surreal, kind of magical. And I think people could look forward to that because the animation is different than any other sort of character that we've seen animated at Pixar. As for the lighting, again, you know, these are deities that are manifestations of light. And so we had a lot of fun exploring how light could tell the story and what a symbolic message it was in terms of, I don't know, being ignorant to the culture and kind of waking up to it. And kind of igniting with illumination and energy. I just feel like when I read those stories and myths, it just all that energy and that knowledge just transferred into me and I just kind of lit up like a light bulb. And so I feel like we really do kind of manifest that in the short. And my last question is about the music of the short film, uh, composed by Michael Dana, who made the famous like sort of ish music of Life of Pi. So how fun was it to work with him, the Canadian musician? <laughs> So, you know, Michael Pi, uh, Michael Pi, Michael Dana is an Academy Award winning uh, composer. And so it's, you know, any short filmmaker could just be so lucky to work with somebody at that caliber and that talent. Um, the thing that I, I didn't realize was that um, the first time Michael Dana and I met, we are, uh, we, <laughs> we ended up talking and turned it out that my son's name is Arjun and turned out his son's name was Arjun as well. I was like, what? And uh, it seems that uh, his wife is Bengali, and so he had a deep connection to the culture and a deep connection to the mythology. And so, you know, it was great working with him because I knew that we wouldn't tread into stereotypical choices of, I don't know, sitars and tablas. And he knew right away the differences of the nuances of the music from the different culture. And so he ended up bringing the Bansori flute to the short, which was such a such a wise choice given that it was a story about Vishnu and the Bansari flute is so associated with Vishnu and so it's a choice that my parents and my parents community would totally appreciate and it's a kind of a just an, a nice testament to like making unstereotypical choices. Michael Dana was he was at the best man he did such he did amazing work for us. I think more than anything else his music tied everything together as an emotional piece. Well thank you Sanjay. Yeah thank you so much man.